What's up, you sexy bitches? My name is Sterling. I stopped drinking colloidal silver for two weeks. Now let's talk about that. So by no means was it purposely done that I forgot. No, that I didn't drink colloidal silver the last two weeks. It's more I forgot. And it's, I kept forgetting to buy distilled water. So, is what it is, it happened, but at the same time, some interesting things happened in my body that I thought it would be good to document. So, over the past couple weeks, my symptoms have slowly progressed, and I don't want to say like progressed as into like more pain, more discomfort, stuff like that, more so in in my body like it, it's just it's it's gone further in my body as in more places are being affected like my hands my feet my my whatever so first when i was exercising so what i've noticed is that whenever it is that i exercise the places that are affected by the ms like my hand my foot uh getting to be my arm um it feels tingly it feels weird it feels abnormal which is interesting because it is the exact same feeling that I would get in these two, just these two fingers whenever I would exercise like in school or some shit like that. So like this MS has obviously been building up for quite a long time. But the interesting thing about it is like I could feel the blood pumping, not like but like definitely there is an odd feeling happening there. I have also noticed that it is far more up my arm, like definitely to the, to the elbow, where it was used to be like in these three fingers. I don't know if it's just like all of a sudden like progressed up my arm or if it's always been there or if it's been slowly doing it or it's like, oh, there's less silver in the bloodstream. We can take over. I, I don't know. But what it feels like is that it's tired and it just somewhat aches sometimes, but not really. It's just more or less tired. And especially when I go running, like my right foot, it also feels tired. And like keeping my foot flexed like this when I run is actually kind of exhausting to the muscles in here. And that's kind of been happening for quite a while now. It's just whatever is the most affected by the multiple sclerosis at this time, it just feels a lot more tired. But I am noticing as well is that these, these two knuckles, these, these ones right here, they ache. <laughs> like not all the time, and perhaps I should really try and stop cracking my knuckles, but man, habits are hard to break. But they are definitely starting to feel achy. In fact, this entire right hand is beginning to get a little bit worse. I have been exercising a lot more lately because I've, I've reached a plateau of my weight loss at 215 pounds. So officially, I have actually lost 100 pounds from my heaviest, which is flipping amazing. I still got tons to go. I've been doing a lot more um, walking, a lot more running, a lot more exercises like burpees, push-ups, uh, chin-ups, stuff like that. I can actually do like five chin-ups, like, like this, like full out chin-ups. And it feels fucking good because I haven't been able to do that in like how many years? Like since like school, since like school, like over 10 years ago. So it's okay. There is no other real updates about the MS, about my body, about what I'm taking, about anything else. It's just I forgot to buy a whole bunch more distilled water to be able to have on hand and then it just got life got busy i kept forgetting every time i was at the store but these i don't know if this is the results but definitely the this is what happened in the last two weeks is that it's progressed a little bit further and it's bothering me a little bit more and then in the matter of routine i've just been exercising more take it easy you sexy bitches and i'll speak to you in the next video